At what point do you figure out if you're going SAS or SBS? What do you think they're looking for when it comes to recruiting SAS guys? When it comes to the selection, are you recruited for SBS, SAS? When did you find out about the Special Air Service? Um, I knew, I, I found out quite young as a, as a, as a, when I was quite young. Okay. But when, as they still are today, they were within newspapers a lot. The Iranian embassy siege happened in 1980. I, I can't remember that. I, I was, I would have been four years old, but I, I, that, people say they remember it. I, I don't remember it. But uh, but I'd always heard them being mentioned, and and it's still to this day is what people say. It's the it's the magic dust of the country. Oh, they should just send the SAN, SAS in to go and get them, or to kill them, or to do this, or to. So that's what the the working man is like is like saying, oh, just send the SAS in, so they'll sort them out. So um, and then the movie, as mentioned before, Who Dies Wins. I saw that when I was, I think it would have been eleven or twelve years old which is still, you could argue, too young to see that movie, but I saw it, and in my mind, I always, that's why I was like, I need to, I need to be in the SES. Hmm. When I joined the army, and when I was in training, and when I was in, I never mentioned about joining the SES. I never, I never openly said it to people. Well, I want to do one thing at a time. I wanted to get in the parachute regiment first. Let's get in the parachute regiment first, and then. So, But in my heart, even when I went into the army recruiting office, and I wanted to, you in my mind, I wanted to be in the SES. You know. What is the, can you can you explain a little bit of the difference between SAS and SBS? The, there's kind of no real difference. Really? Um, they do the same, well, there's no real difference. One is the, so, the, there's lots of different, people will say, oh, what's he saying that for? The selection process is identical, so we do a joint selection. Okay, so you're so mixed in. Yeah, so you do a joint selection and and that, and and they're and they're the but the on paper they are the um, maritime um, tier one special forces element. Okay, so so there's um, not one up here and no. one they're equivalent. They're supposed to be the same. So. Roger that. So. Roger that. <clears throat> when it comes to the selection, are you recruited? For SBS, SAS? You volunteer to you do You volunteer. Yeah. Do you volunteer for, what, are they, do they both fall under an umbrella? You, 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 you can if you're in the Army, uh, apply to join the SBS. And if you're in the Navy or the Royal Marines, you can apply to join the SAS. Or, so this or, or, or is, RAF as well. Uh, so this is basically Delta, Delta SEAL Team yes, 6 yeah. equivalents, yeah. If, correct? Mm -hmm. SBS would be more the Team 6, Delta would yes. be more the SAS. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. And you volunteer, so you put a request in through your unit, that goes to the recruitment cell, and then you have to do some courses, pre-courses to get on selection, and then you go on selection, and it's a it's a six month process, on, and then and then continuation training after you're badged into your unit. But the continue continuation training is then separated, so the so the guys who pass the SES selection do their con to do their continuation training in Hereford and the SBS in, in Poole. And like that's where they'll do their dive training and things. Okay. So. Do you guys do dive training? No. No? All air stuff? Uh, it's, a, it's just a mix. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. <clears throat> what is the, what is the, what are they looking, what do you think they're looking for when it comes to recruiting SAS guys? I think, um, we being blunt about it is the one people who are physically capable, whatever that means, so robust and fit, mm -hmm. like really fit and really robust people. But uh, more importantly, a selection continues is you need to be able to assimilate information and be time is always precious. In theory, the selection should be much longer but we're sort of cramming a lot of stuff in and trying to test and evaluate. So we want people who can pick up, assimilate emulation quickly, get get told something, put it into practice, and then do the next skill set. So the and, and being able to work with with other people of uh, is another key requirement. So that's kind of what they're looking for. Is there a certain type of 
disposition, attitude, demeanor um, that they're looking for? Not what they're looking for. I think people just fall into that category. Okay. What is it like? Do they have interviews before you go to the selection? I'm not. They didn't when I was. You just yeah. throw your name in the hat, yeah. get approved, and you're in. Yeah. Well, yeah, and you do the course here. Yeah. Interesting. What is the? What would you say the culture is like? What is it like when you show up for selection? Are they welcoming? Do they treat you like shit? No, it's very quiet. It's just people. Again, we're on the borders of what I'm going to talk about and not talk about. But mm -hmm. um, when you turn up selection, it's similar to joining the army again. Everyone's measuring everyone up. Mm -hmm. The from the instructor point of view, they're not seeing anything. They're not imposing anything. They're not. They don't need to. Strictly evaluation. It's just they're not. They're not like screaming, shouting, doing whatever. They're just. They're, they're part of the, they don't, like I said, the selection process, they, they, every, people know what they're getting into, but it's more of the, you know, when 200 people or so, just short of 200 people turn up on day one and you're looking around going, statistically about, you know, six to, six to 12 people are going to graduate out of this. So you get about a 5% chance and, yeah, of making it. And sometimes it's bigger courses, sometimes it's smaller, but um, like pass, but you're looking around and you're thinking, who, who's going to pass? Am I going to be one of these? Is mm -hmm. there someone else? Are you weighing it up and just getting the measure of people, I suppose? And then, and then so it starts. The, that's roughly a 5% success rate. I believe so. That's what it should be. How many people came out with you? Well, we had a, had a quite a big course. So it must have been easy. So it's like, I think 18. 18 yeah. came out? Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> At what point do you figure out if you're going SAS or SBS? Beforehand. Before, yeah, so that, you that, know what you're trying out for yeah, beforehand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. don't. They don't. They don't put you into a box and say you are actually a bit better in the SBS. And you, it's um, that's that's you put in for um, for service in the SS. They, that may have changed now. I'm not sure. I'm out of the loop somewhat. But, so um, what did, what happens if they have a class where everybody wants to go SAS? That's it. And, and nobody and wants to go SBS. There's been courses where just one person has passed. No like shit. Two, two people, I think, as well. And, you know, so it's like yeah. Interesting. Well, how do they fill billets? That could be a potential problem. Is I've I'm I'm kind of I'm I'm out of the loop now. So the the big problem is is we have a lot of people. I think people are leaving now because of the war on terror is finished. So mm -hmm. so there tends to be people leaving, and sometimes the more people are leaving than coming in. Is it? Man, is you know, it's really it's really interesting just to see. It's. We're going to go off on a tangent here, so get ready. But it's really interesting to me to watch special operations, the tip of the spear, globally just diminish. Hey, everybody. I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.